Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of trend lines. This is standard 8.5D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 21 of the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got a, uh, a mail carrier here and kind of creating a little bit of a scatter plot here. So we've got a number of people in the household and there's a number of pieces in the mail. And it kind of makes sense that the more people that are in the household, as you increase on the X axis, then you're going to increase on the Y axis, the more pieces of mail you're going to get. So based on the data, how many pieces of mail should a household with eight people expect to receive? All right. And let's open up our graph draw feature here and since we do have to scroll to kind of see the answers what i'm going to do is i'm going to take these answers and i'm just going to bring them up here 16 29 all right so let me just write these in here a is 16 b is 29 c is 27 d is 21. so what i could do now is i can draw on my on my scatter plot there and I'm not going to have to worry too much about it. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to actually change my grid size here. So that's going to lose that, but that's fine. I'll just do that again here. So I've got A16. I've got B29. The reason I did that was the, the lines were not necessarily matching up. But I am going to want to draw. Use the connect line feature. But that's going to be difficult if the the squares are too big d21 all right so i'm looking for eight right so i've got options here and i'm going to just let me draw with green here i'm going to just add points okay so eight a could be let's see 16 okay let's see if i can get that right on 16. let's see it's as close as i can get it right there all right so b Wow, 29. Let's see, that top row is 26, so 28. I'm guessing it's going to be like up there, right? So this is my A. This is my B. Uh, C is 27. So that's 26. So I'm going to guess that's 27 maybe right there. So once again, off the chart... And then D is 21, so right around there. That's about as close as I can get. All right, so what we need to do now is we need to find a trend line. So when we're looking at our trend line, what we're doing here is we are looking at, first off, we need to make a, an assumption here. We are going to start at the origin there at zero. Uh, it does make sense that if you've got zero people in the household, you've got zero people in, uh, zero pieces of mail coming. You might not be able to make that, so maybe you want to not necessarily include zero. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this, this connect line feature, and we're going to try to draw a line. And you see we ha kind of have to go in between. I'm going to do it right there. I'll leave it right there, and then I'll tell you why I had to do it. Because you've got these, this big gap right here, right? So if you didn't have this one right here at the 12 line, right there, 612, then it would have been real easy to kind of take this and just bump this whole thing up because then you would have wanted to get right here in between those two dots up there. But since you've got this big gap right here, then you need to make your trend line go right in the middle of that gap. So... It looks like uh, that kind of picks up, for the most part, your trend line needs to go in between your dots as much as possible. I was really aiming for this gap right here. So I landed right at 22 when I crossed the eight people mark. And I don't exactly have a 22, but you see the closest right there is going to be my D21. And so that is going to be my answer. D21.